Hey guys and welcome back to Raising the Leaves. I wanted to share with you guys in a hibachi grill recipe video. Um, bear with me with this voiceover because I'm a little awkward. But we're going to get right into the ingredients that you're going to need. The things that I used were broccoli, zucchini, carrots, an onion, some steak, cold rice, chicken, vegetable oil, you're also going to need some soy sauce of course and then another key ingredient is this pure sesame oil. It is an absolute must. I'm of course going to season my food to taste with some salt and pepper and I also want to add uh, some corn to mine because that's what our hibachi grill uses. I prefer you use some fresh broccoli so that's what I have here. I have two stalks of fresh broccoli that I went ahead and cut the florets off of and broke down to smaller bite sized pieces. When played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. I only ended up using one of my two carrots because we don't really care for the carrots, but you can of course add more if you like. Once you finish prepping all your vegetables, you want to go ahead and take care of the meat. I cut mine into bite-sized pieces and tried to keep them all around the same size so they'll cook evenly. sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. idea was to use the griddle so it could be a one size even cooking surface but I definitely don't recommend using the griddle I would suggest using a large pot or a wok if you have one um, because this it was just way too messy but it did work out so if that's all you have you could definitely use it and do fine with it but um, it's to save you some cleanup time I recommend using a larger pan
I decided to cook everything somewhat separate. So um, I did the rice first, took it off, then did the vegetables and so on and so forth. And then I went ahead and like warmed it up and transferred to the pan after realizing this was a huge fail. Right from those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. of using another drizzle of the vegetable oil I went ahead and just sprayed it with the vegetable oil spray instead Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back, okay, here's the finished product. For the sake of the thumbnail, I did my rice all pretty, but here's a right plate. So I got a few pieces of broccoli, rice, apples, and chicken. Joe just has apples, chicken, and rice. Here's land, he got the steak, chicken, vegetables, and rice. And this is how our hibachi turned out. I finally showed myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys love recipe videos from me. So I wanted to go ahead and do this one since that's what we was having for dinner anyway. Um, I'll leave all of the measurements and ingredients and everything in the description box already. So I don't even gotta remind me. Um, it'll already be down below. So um, again, thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, share it if you think somebody else might like it, and comment down below because your comments are like my text messages. So text me.